Hello and welcome back to the program. This is Jeremy Rides here with a brand new snowmobile video. It's gonna be winter pretty soon, so I'm still prepping the sleds. This guy right here, if you guys don't remember, the end of last year, I broke my recoil once again for like the fifth time. So I gotta dig into this thing and I gotta replace that little piece. I can't remember what they call it, but it's part of the uh, recoil setup. So I gotta dig in there, replace that today. Hopefully we can get this started and uh, get it ready for snow. So that's what's up today. I gotta take this off, get down in there, take those bolts off, take the whole thing apart, throw it inside probably where it's warmer, and uh, replace that little piece. That's it, that's all we're doing today. Bam. So the first tool I need, wow this is way out of focus. There we go, all right. So the first tool I need is a screwdriver. And I'll show you why right now. Yeah. Get these little bad boys off there. Yeah, there's one. Wait for this to fling up and hit me in the eye. I can't wait until I get my own shop so I can actually store my machines properly. Right now, it sucks. Like I had to leave this sled outside because I have literally no more room for toys. So, still working on the dream garage. It's gonna happen eventually. Woo! There goes the spring. Bam. Look at, look at this. I got a pair of vice grips hanging out in there. But, now I got that out of the way so I should be able to to reach all this, gotta get these little uh, Allen heads out. Whoa! Yeah. And then uh, take it apart. Bam! Ah! Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! You guys gotta let me know again if you like these preparing the snowmobile videos, the tinkering videos. I believe you guys do, but uh, I always wanna hear what you guys like, what you guys dislike, because I make these videos for you guys, and uh, I thank you guys for watching. There we go. Oh, this might not be the right size either. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. I can see some of my Loctite in there. Oh, look at that. That's why it broke. One of my bolts fell out. Handy. That's gonna be a real fun time this winter. Oh, and I dropped the bolt down there. I'm pretty sure, well you guys probably remember, I replaced this whole flange, this right here, the metal piece where the bolts actually go to, because the other one was stripped out. I replaced this piece, but apparently the bolts are still vibrating out. Which is not cool, even though I put blue Loctite on there and yeah, what a pain. One thing after another. The sled runs great, but uh, this, this stupid pull assembly thing is it's getting old. All right, so I got the uh, pull assembly off right here and I'll show you what the problem is that notch right there see how it's worn on the top that is the problem that I'm having so when it connects onto here these little notches to spin the motor over it uh, kind of just slides off instead of actually making a connection so that's the problem I gotta replace this big old red piece and uh, yeah it's getting old but anyways, I found that other bolt that had fallen out. It's frozen solid in the water underneath the pull assembly. So that's where that is. Got to find the other bolt. Got the other one over there. I got my vice grips too. So yeah, take this off and replace it. Alright, so this rope right here, this little knot, is being a pain in the buttocks. So I think I'm just going to cut it. It's almost like somebody didn't want that to come, come apart. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see if I can film and do this at the same time. Hopefully the, uh, 
six inches, seven inches is not gonna do me in when I go to pull it every time. Come on. Like I need some better cutters here. Come on now. Oh man. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. I'll take little bits off at a time. Oh, poo. Poo, poo, poo. Alright. That's the stuff right there. Come on, let go. Yeah. There we go. Take this guy off. We're gonna hold this as we take this out of there. Like that. Bam. I'm going to be well practiced in the art of taking pull assemblies off of snowmobiles. <laughs> Because I've done it so many times, especially on that one sled. Yeah, right, I gotta find a place to. Dogs are barking. I gotta find a place to do this. We kind of have this room as like a shed thing. I don't know. Oh, by the way, guys, look at this. It's one of my favorite shirts right here. Got snow. How many of you guys have snow right now? I don't know, maybe you guys got more snow than us. We have like a dusting, but you guys got snow? Let's hear it. All right guys, so got the brand new parts right here. I'm just gonna show you real quick what it looks like before I break into this thing. In case you guys need to do the same thing, um, I don't generally do uh, tutorial videos, but you guys can figure it out by uh, just watching me do it. Pretty much all you gotta do is you take the screw out and then everything pops out except for a little collar you gotta pry that open with a uh, flathead but you'll see when I do it <coughs> and I just want to show you guys what this the new parts look like if I can ever get it out of the envelope okay wow they really went to town on the packaging okay bam that's these are all the pieces you'll find in there you can't buy the red piece separately unfortunately but the whole kit's like 15 bucks or something like that so uh yeah let's see what we got here i bought this from utah crankshaft and short block yeah shout out to these guys bam paul that's what it is the paul kit so i guess this is the paul maybe i'm probably wrong but uh we're gonna break into it and uh, get this thing fixed up. Oh, and by the way, this is reverse thread. So, righty loosey, lefty tidy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Get this off of there. Bam. You gotta remember where, how each piece goes together. This is that collar I was telling you about. Just gotta pop it up. Bam, just like that. And when I'm taking things apart, I like to just kind of put them in the same order off to the side. Just like that. And this might have to be popped up too. Shazam. And you also wanna make sure that your rope isn't able to retract inside it, so just pop this guy up. I tied a knot, you can do vice grips, whatever you want to do. Bam, just like that. So we know it goes just like that. And that goes underneath. And a little collar. There, that's the piece that needs fixing. 
I mean, while I'm at it, I might as well replace the, the other parts too, because I have brand new parts. So I might as well do that. Put that in there. Maybe that goes in there like that. And then we have our collar. You guys have probably seen the other video of me doing this. I do this at least once a year. <laughs> so there's a few videos out there of me doing this. Yeah, man, that's a stubborn one. Whew, okay, so I almost forgot. I like to put some grease on this little post under here just to keep things running, uh, or moving uh, smoothly. So I went out to the shop, got some uh, little extra grease from my used tube, and uh, we're going to grease that up a little bit. You don't want to leave the uh, post alone, you know, post Malone, post alone. Uh, where's the new part? Let's use the new part. Here's a new part. There we go. And then we have this little guy. Just sometimes a pain to get on there. Oh man, it's looking like this one's gonna be a pain too. Yeah. So then this piece goes over the top like that. And we put our bolt back on. Remember lefty tighty. Ready Lucy. Bam. And there we have it. We got it on there. Finally. That's all she wrote, my friends. We got a brand new Paul. I think this is actually called the Paul, but I could be wrong. So anyways, we got this uh, red piece on there. This one's worn, this one's not. This should last me uh, a couple days, maybe. Hopefully, if I'm lucky. So, now we're ready to throw it back on the sled. I was actually thinking as I was doing this that I could make a tutorial on how to do it because apparently on MXZs, and I know a lot of snowmobiles have this problem, but uh, if you guys ever want to know how to replace it, maybe I'll do a full tutorial. Maybe I'll upload it right after this video since I have this out already. I don't know, but... In this video, we're going to go throw this on the sled right now. And look at this. You guys see that? It's snowing. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. It's going to be a good winter, guys. I know I <clears throat> said this in the last video, but I'm hoping to uh, possibly do one video a day in December. I'm hoping. If we get some good snow and uh, conditions are right, it might happen. Um, here's the pull assembly. I forgot to do a test pull for you guys just to show you that it worked. Um, I can't really do it. Well, maybe. There we go. So yeah, it works. And we're going to slap it in this bad boy. And maybe we have a chance of <coughs> hearing this thing run today. Um, what I don't like is this flange stripping out the bolts or loosening the bolts again. Which is the problem I had with the other flange. Bought one on eBay. That one came stripped out because apparently this happens on all these early skidoos. And uh, now this one looks like it's stripping out. So I got I got problems. <laughs> Anyways, let's try and get this on here and see what happens. Blue Loctite for the win. Slap some of that on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, and this goes just like this. Look at that, just spinning. Ah, oh, I don't like that. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna have to get to, uh, I'm gonna have to drill that out and make some new threads or something. Oh, that's not cool. I don't like that. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. <clears throat> it's just spinning inside there. <clears throat> but uh, I'm at a loss right now because I don't have anything to to drill that out, the, uh, the proper set to do that. But I think it's what's going to have to happen. Stupid, because I just barely bought this piece last year and replaced it. And I made sure the threads were good. 
pretty stupid, but eh, I don't know. I might have to pick this video up another time. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to. Bummer. Real bummer. I was hoping I could get this thing running today, get it fixed up, ready for snow. It's snowing right now, but maybe not. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some thinking real quick. I may end the video right here. I'm not sure. So we'll find out here in a second. If it goes to the intro or the outro, the video's ending. If not, we'll pick it up in a second. See you guys, maybe.